Hi, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. In this episode, we're going to be patching this hole that I put into the shop floor. This was a temporary patch that I put here about three years ago. Well, it's time to finally patch this officially with the correct material, which is 1932 inch plywood. This is a, a true story. Uh, I don't mind telling it. If it wasn't true, I, I would be a little bit worried telling this story, but because it is 100% true, I don't see any reason why there would be any harm in telling it. So I'll just tell it. I go to Lowe's, Lowe's Home Improvement Hardware Store, and I'm immediately accosted within a few feet of entering the, the front door by an employee. And he says to me, hi, sir, welcome in. Is there anything I can help you find? And I, I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed because I personally like to take my time and walk around the store for literally three quarters of a day trying to find what it is I'm looking for. Okay, I don't like to walk in there and go immediately. Anyway, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent here. So I tell him, sir, I'm looking for your most warped sheet of 19 30 seconds inch four by eight foot plywood. And he says to me, sir, you realize that plywood is constructed in a way with the, the various layers of plies that are rotated 90 degrees and, and glued together in such a way that, that it remains flat and, and reduces the amount of shrinkage and warpage and Lowe's maintains this level of moisture content to prevent it from warping that it's nearly impossible to meet, meet your expectations here of, of finding plywood that, that would be warped. You realize this, right? And I said to him, son, I've been a veteran Lowe's customer shopping at stores all over the state for nearly 20 years. I think I know a thing or two about warped wood. I know Lowe's is known for its warped wood. And he looks at me and he says, I'm sorry. I didn't realize who I was dealing with right this way, sir. And that's when I started to get the VIP treatment. He takes me over to this lumber section and in it is this absolutely horrific warped wood. And I thank him. I said, you know, I'm looking for a challenge. I don't like your straight, perfect, uncut, unwarped, untwisted lumber. I like the crap stuff that Lowe's sells. That's why I'm here. So let me show you this plywood that I got at Lowe's. Ugh. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Look at this thing. It's unbelievable. I got about eight inches of rise on that side when I try to hold it flat and it won't even stay flat on this side because it's so warped. It's crappy warped plywood that I spent probably 50 bucks. And I love it, you know? I, people try to, to give Lowe's a bad rep for, for selling, you know, imperfect lumber, but, but that's what they're known for, is their crap lumber, Lowe's, your crap lumber. So thank you, Lowe's, I appreciate it. I am, I am appreciative of you allowing me to continue to have challenging materials to work with. So thank you.
so I real quick just penciled on a center line. Wasn't looking for accuracy, just close so that I can line it up underneath here, leaving half of the material to screw into here, and then the other half of the two by four screw the board down to. So lining it up with that line. I am gonna throw a clamp on here to help keep it held up tight. Take that, Lowe's, and your trash lumber. Okay, well, that about does it for this little project. Don't even hardly notice it. Look at that. Like it never happened. It's completely camouflaged. I don't even see it. I think it's over here somewhere. Hey, what's the matter with you? I shouldn't have to do this. Okay, I wasn't the one selling the crap lumber. All right, it's Lowe's. They're the ones that screwed it up in the first place. Plus it's hot out here and you got me wearing this thing? Come on. All right, that's enough. You're acting like a child. You said those things and now you're going to apologize. All right, fine, fine. I'll read it, but I'm not happy for the record, okay? <sighs> you wrote this? Yes, just read it already. Dear Lowe's, I want to take this opportunity to express my sincerest apology for my previous statements. They are of poor taste and were made off the cusp during a period of heat exhaustion higher than a level 10, which is the highest level, by the way. You're right about that. It is actually the highest level. My statements are not an accurate representation of how J.O. Wood Artistry's International Corporation views your business. My intent is to repair the damage triggered by my actions, break down the barriers between us, and soon form a partnership with you. I think 50-50 profit sharing, at least in the beginning, is more than reasonable of a proposal. Please respond promptly as this offer will expire in 24 hours. We are watching you. Thank you for your attention. Are you kidding with this? This is good, right? 50, 50 profit. This is perfect. This is absolutely brilliant. JL Wood Artistries International Corporation. I never even thought of that. So professional sounding. <laughs> You have 24 hours, Lowe's. We're watching you. That's my favorite part, by the way. <laughs>